guys, welcome to day 19. Um, great job, first of all, in sticking it out until almost the very end. Surely you're not gonna stop one day short. So um, I can say good job staying until the very end. Okay, but it's not really the end, it's just the beginning because we're trying to help you find a lifestyle that's sustainable sure. and you know one that you can go forward with and be happy and healthy. And so tomorrow we'll talk more about what those next steps look like. We got some great next steps for you um, so that wherever you are in this journey, whatever you have decided that you wanna do with your keto lifestyle, we've got something for you. Um, also, we are about to have the moment of the prizes. This is the funnest part. Um, I mean, the whole thing is fun. We love this challenge. But remember, every day that you have completed your challenge is worth one point. If you added people at the beginning, you could get some extra points there. And also, stay tuned to the end of this video because we're going to let you know how to get some big points. If you have not done as much as you wanted during this challenge and you're a little bit sad thinking about how your name is going to look on the prize wheel, Remember, you got to have at least five points in order to get on the prize wheel. Um, stay tuned to the end, and we're going to let you know a way that you can get some big points um, today or tomorrow. So you might be wondering, why am I getting these points? What's even happening? I may have mentioned, I sometimes get confused on what I've said on videos and lives and things. Guys, I got a little ADHD. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> a lot. Guys, think of how unfocused I was before I was in the ketogenic lifestyle. <laughs> it was real bad. Anyway. So we are going to give away three, there's going to be three winners. So there's going to be the prize wheel. The bigger your part on it, the more chance you have to win. And what we're giving away to three lucky winners is ketones. Did you ever see it coming? Um, so it's each, each winner will get like a $20 value. So what that might look like is three packs of net. That would be one option. Or maybe you are wanting to try the cream, which is like our fat coffee that is so delicious that I drink it not even in coffee. I drink it in hot water, and so does John, her husband. So those are $5 each, so you could win four of them. If you're a math person, you might be counting and seeing that I only have three. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> but I grabbed these real quick and didn't feel like going downstairs to get the rest of the packet. So pretend there's a fourth one right here. That's something that you could win. There's also lots of other options. Prove it has so many different products. I didn't want to go into all of that because it can be overwhelming um, in a good way. Um, so I will work with you, the three winners, on finding what is your best thing that you want to win. Um, so yeah, stay so they might want to sample just kind of a variety. Right. And some people have done that. Like they'll do one pack of net, one pack of cream, one, one, four, three. That's hard to say. Um, things like that. So I'll customize it to whatever you want. So stay, make sure that you stay tuned till the end and we'll tell you a way that you can get um, even more Bonus points. points. Yeah. Thanks. So what I thought would be good to do today is to go back and recap everything that we've talked about through the whole challenge. So watch this clip. So since we are at the end, I kind of want to do a recap of the last three weeks and what we have talked about. So I'm going to reference you know my favorite, one of my favorite books, The Ketogenic Bible. This is kind of my go-to resource. I have actually two of them. I think I got one right here on my desk too. Um, yeah, I got two of them. I don't really know why I have two, but I do. Um, so I'm going to take some something out of The Ketogenic Bible that kind of gives like some overall do's and don'ts as you're going forward. Just some things to kind of keep in mind. I hope that one of the things that you've gotten from this month is that you kind of have found your place in the keto world. Um, whether you are choosing to do dirty keto, if you want to st stay strict keto, uh, at least for this phase, and then maybe once you get to your goal weight or whatever it is that you are um, reaching for, maybe you um, go to less strict, maybe you have decided that really keto is not the way that you want to go, that you want to be more low carb. Um, some people choose to just kind of do low carb and drink ketones. There's lots of different ways that you can approach this. Um, if you've gotten this far, I feel like you are seeing the benefits of ketosis. You're determined to continue, but I would just challenge you to find what is going to be um, appropriate for you that you know with your lifestyle, what is sustainable um, for you going forward so that you're going to have success, so that you have a high standard, but not too high that you're not going to reach it. Um, so that would be kind of my challenge to you going forward. Find your place, stick with it. Um, some other things to keep in mind, we talked about hydration. Remember that being in ketosis is a diuretic. So um, it is extra important to stay hydrated when you're in ketosis, um, whether you're doing that nutritionally or with exogenous ketones, 
fasting, um, or a combination of those three, um, it's super important to stay extra hydrated. I find now as I get deeper and deeper into um, the ketogenic lifestyle and higher levels of ketosis, I am finding that I am just constantly needing water because um, I don't know if that's just my body's way of telling me to stay hydrated or what, but I'm just like kind of always thirsty now, which is good. I think now I hydrate way better than I ever did before, but it's because I'm using more tools to get myself into ketosis. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, electrolytes are super important. Um, whether you use Prove It's Mitoplex or find other electrolytes, um, do something to keep those nutrients um, that you need in order to be successful. Um, okay, MCT oil. That was my favorite day. Um, that was, remember, Mary Newport, and we talked about the brain benefits of coconut oil, MCT oil. So, you know, I think ideally you're having coconut oil every day. Um, but if not every day, at least every, you know, two, three days, make sure that you are getting coconut oil or MCT oil as a regular part of your diet just for the brain benefits. And remember that when we talked about um, the different types of triglycerides, um, MCT is a medium chain triglyceride. It goes right to your liver, turns right into um, to ketones so that you're getting that quick, quick uptake, it's hard to say, quick uptake um, into your body. So you're going into ketosis even more quickly. Um, also, the Ketogenic Bible actually does recommend that you take exogenous ketones as a way to maximize your results. Um, if that's something that you have been thinking about that maybe, you know, had some questions, always reach out. I'm happy to help you. Um, also, if it's because it is a premium product, if the money is what is stopping you, I would love to work with people and help find a way to make it um, doable for you wherever you are with your finances. There's several different ways that I can help to get it free or reduced, so I'm happy to work with you if that's something that you're interested in. Um, testing your ketone levels. I talked today about that. Um, the recommendation in the Ketogenic Bible is that you do at least occasionally test your ketone levels so that you know kind of what's going on in your body. They say like, don't get obsessed with it to where you're doing it all the time um, obsessively, but just to kind of have an awareness. So for me, until I started leading these groups, I didn't really test my ketone levels, but once I did, um, I thought it would be important for me to kind of understand my numbers a little bit better. And so I did test for a week or so um, just to give myself an awareness. And I kind of stay about, you know, in the 1.5 to 2.0 range um, with the way that I was eating and drinking my ketones. But then I did a 60 hour fast and got up into the fives, like I think 5.4 or 5.6. So now I have an understanding kind of of how I feel at different levels, just so that I kind of know what's going on better in my own body. But be careful, you don't want to become obsessed with it to where you feel like that's the only goal is to get to a certain number. You know, probably your goal is to feel good, to um, be able to move well in your own body, to not be controlled by food, to, you know, not be eating as much, um, things like that. So remember, those are a really good measure. Don't be rolled by the scale or um, by your testing your ketones. Going forward, it's important to um, just to be careful of what food you allow in your home. It's trickier when you have other people in your household who are not doing the keto diet. Um, so me, I know my own triggers and one of my biggest one is chips. So I try to rarely have chips in our house. And if I do, I try to get chips that I don't like <laughs> so that um, maybe my kids like them, but I just don't bring my favorites in because I know what a trigger that that can be for me. So I would just encourage you, if you haven't already, clean out your pantries, clean out your house, at least with your biggest temptations. Um, make it, you know, it's hard to kind of find like that neutral space with your family. If you have people who aren't doing the keto diet with you, it's harder. Um, but I would just challenge you, just don't buy it and you're not going to be as tempted to eat it. Um, another thing that they talk about is that Yes, the macros are important. It's important to think about your carbs and your fats and your protein. But if it's too overwhelming or if like you're in a place where you, you don't want to be tracking your um your macros, like if you have kind of a, an overwhelming time in your life or you're extra busy, then they said the most important thing is to stay low carb. Um, if that's all that you can do, remember um low carb is considered anywhere between um, under one third of your body weight in in grams per day, net grams per day. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you want to keep your net carbs below 50 in a day. So make sure you're at least staying low carb. 
Then the next important is to add in fat. You know, we talked about how important that is for your brain, for your gut health to add in fat. And then um, the not, I mean, it's still important, but protein of the three is the least important. So if you get overwhelmed and need to kind of backtrack, go back to low carb is the most important. Um, something that I have not talked about at all, but could be a big part of some people's lives is alcohol. Um, I just have chosen not to drink, um, but I know some people do drink and that is something that they might miss on the keto diet. Um, just realize that a lot of alcohol is high in carbs. There are some that you can find that are lower carb, but just be aware that that's um, a place where you can kind of get carbs pretty high. So make sure that you're looking. I'm sure that you can Google and find what would be a good low carb, um, you know, alcoholic drink that you might want. Exercise, I probably don't emphasize enough, but certainly very important. The more you exercise, the more that your body will utilize the ketones. Um, and your, your uptake of ketones is better when you are exercising. Um, so don't forget about that important piece. Don't focus so much on your eating that you forget about that is the fourth way that you can create ketones is actually through exercise. Um, it's just my weakest link. So I tend to talk about it not very much, but certainly don't forget to do it just because <laughs> I don't talk about it enough. Um, and the last thing is don't give up wherever you are. Just continue going a little bit forward, pushing yourself to be a little bit better every day and think of where you're going to be in one year, two years, five years down the road compared to where you probably were before you joined this group or before you started the keto diet, where likely as you get older, like every year you just, your health gets a little bit worse. You get a little bit more discouraged with how you feel in your body, how you look in your clothes. So just keep moving forward and you will not recognize yourself in five years. Um, so that's my encouragement to you. Um, what I would love for your challenges today is um, in the comments of this video, I would love for you to say, tell, just tell us a little bit kind of as you reflect back on, um, on this challenge. What are the biggest things that you have learned? What victories have you had over the three weeks? Um, what have been maybe your challenges? Maybe you haven't had a lot of victories and you kind of need to process through that. Declare where you are gonna go, you know, going forward. What are you gonna work on? Are you going to be strict keto? Are you going to really make more of an effort with your exercise? Have you decided that intermittent fasting is really where you want to go? Um, kind of take, you know, one of the four ways that you can get your body into ketosis, the diet through exogenous ketones, intermittent fasting or exercising. Take, you know, one, two, three of those and kind of break down for the group what that's going to look like for you going forward what you have accomplished in this group. There's just, there's power in words and in sharing with other people. If you proclaim it, you're going to be more likely to follow through on it because you are declaring it to a group. So tell us kind of where you are, what the challenge has been like for you and where you are going, you know, where you want to go going forward. Hope that's clear. If not, put your questions below and we'll get you taken care of. Um, but let's finish strong together. Okay, you made it to the end of the video, so now you get to find out how you can get major points that will help you to have a better chance of winning the prizes that we shared at the beginning. Yeah, and the reason we give major points here is because people will be inspired by your transformations. And I know some of you might be a little intimidated to share before and after pictures, perhaps, which is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm but just realize how impactful that can be for someone to see. You can give someone hope for that by, by just doing that. Think about what the challenge has meant to you and that you can offer that same hope and kind of the gift of the challenge, if I can say that. But you know what I mean? It is, I get lots of um, really nice messages from people saying, this made such a huge impact. This really has changed my life and we have the power to help change more lives. And because we want to unleash that power, we're gonna give you 10 points if you send before and after pictures, so before the challenge and after, and just like a two sentence kind of explanation, maybe if you feel comfortable sharing your before and after weight and just kind of a little bit of what the challenge has meant for you as far as mindset and the community support and the education. Um, so you'll do a before and after picture and just like one or two quick sentences about that and send that to us in Messenger. Mm -hmm. This is different than what you will post for your challenge for today, which is in the actual group. This is something that you're gonna send to us in Messenger with before and after pictures. So that's one way to get 10 extra points on the prize wheel. 
but there's a second way and you, got yes, options. you can do both or either. So the second one is doing a video testimonial and it's under three minutes. And so it's just like we're talking to you right now. So you're going to get your phone, you're going to hold it sideways and you're going to video yourself and just in under three minutes, explain what this challenge has meant to you, what you've learned, what you're changing going forward, what your results are, anything like that, that you'd like to share. So you can get 10 points for doing a video, 10 points for doing before and after pictures, 20 points for both. Yes, so if that was not clear, don't worry. It's in your email written out and also, of course, in the units tab where I take the email and copy it over. So if you have any questions, reach out and let us know, but I hope that a lot of you will participate in that. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great day.